Hey, what's up everyone? Antrix here with another great tutorial on how to create a sound wave in Photoshop. Now, this is one of my, this is one of my personal favorite tutorials um, because it's really short and you really get a cool effect in the end. And it only uses simple tools and techniques. So, it's really a basic level tutorial. So, let's get started with it. So to start off, you're going to create a new document, and um, you can name it, uh, I'll just name it right now, Soundwave, and I'm going to keep it to a 1080p width, just for tutorial sakes, and so that you can see it in like a bigger picture. Uh, you can uh, choose whatever size you want, and uh, with that, you're going to press OK. And now we're gonna fill it with a black background, so choose a black color and um, fill in with Alt Delete. And uh, now to create our sound effect, um, I'm gonna use a, a tool called Line Tool, and it's under the Path Selection Tool. Um, uh, you can press U until uh, I think it doesn't work with you. But um, there's usually a rectangle here. Just click, uh, click, click on it for a few seconds and choose line two from it. So we're gonna draw a straight line. Um, so to do that, we're gonna hold shift and click and drag from top to the bottom, and we get our line. Now, as you can see in your layer palette, um, there's a shape right here, and there's um color and there's a vector mass. I don't really like working with the vector map mm, sorry uh, vector max mask sorry can't get that word uh, vector masks I got it and so what I'm gonna do is um, create a new layer uh, control click the vector mask thumbnail without selecting it and then you can see that we get to selection over here now with the layer to select it, I'm gonna go to my color box, uh, choose a white color, press OK, and then fill it with Alt Delete. Now you can see we have our uh, white line. Now I don't really need the shape, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. Now we have this uh, single line. Now to get those high spikes uh, of the sound waves, I'm gonna use a effect called the wind. Um, so to s use the effect, we're gonna go to filter, uh, distort, I think. Um, mm, I forgot where it is. Um, let me just find it. Mm, uh, yes, it's in the rend. Uh, filter stylized wind. Now you get an option box over here. Just zoom out if you can't really see, and we really can't see anything. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I chose the wrong layer. So be sure to select um, layer layer two, and then go to filter uh, stylized wind. Now it's really hard to see in here too. So um, you can probably zoom in. But all we need to do is uh, choose a method of wind, uh, and first we're gonna do from the right. So I'm just gonna choose wind from the right and press OK. Now you can see we got these little spikes over here, but they're too small. So to intensify this effect, I'm gonna use the shortcut Control F, or you can just go into Filter and just repeat the last command, which is wind. The shortcut is Control plus F, so. Uh, it's still the same thing. So I'm just gonna press Control F um, enough times that the spikes look a little bigger. Um, not too much because at at some time they'll all level out. So about three times um, is uh, good. Okay, so now we have our um, spikes coming from the left. Now we need from the right. So to get from the right, uh, we're gonna go to filter, uh, stylize, wind, and this time we're gonna do it from the left. 
Now, it's really small and you can't really see, so just select from the left and press OK. Now, to intensify the same result, I'm sorry, intensify this again, we're just going to press Control F three times. And for this, I'm just going to press Control F twice because I don't want it to be the same as same length as this one and it just keeps much more um, like unbalanced kind of look it's really hard to explain but I'm just gonna press it two times now obviously this is not how a sound wave looks like this is not the right direction so what I'm gonna do is press control T it's the edit free transform you can go to edit uh, free transform control T is a shortcut and right click on there and rotate 90 degrees kind of, uh, clockwise and with that now you can see that it's on a vertical line now I'm gonna scale it up a little and um, maybe even stretch it you can stretch it too and just move it up now you can see that it looks uh, looks uh, more realistic as it's uh, vertical not her I think so no oh, I mean horizontal and not vertical but now we need some color on it so to add color I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna place it over all of the layers go to the gradient tool box, gradient tool uh, it's um, under eraser and click that and um, go up to the properties and select the rainbow preset uh, rainbow gradient and press OK now to apply this color I'm gonna hold shift and click and drag from left to right and now you can see your screens covered up but that's okay we're gonna go over here under the layers and you can see there's something that uh, says normal it's a drop down menu click it and find overlay after you find overlay you can see that all the gradient color has been overlaid on the white uh, white sound white sound effect we created before so you can switch it off you can create you can create multiple colors you know you can choose um uh, orange yellow orange and do the same thing you know you get a really cool effect so uh, experiment with that and um, I'm Anitrix from Anitrix.com um, have a nice day.